we have with us today a cultural anthropologist specialised in cultural mythology, Dr. Handel Watts of Talladega College. Dr. Watts will be explaining the mythological origins of factitious history's most famous gladiator, Creek of Cupre, heir to the throne of Forest Hills. Dr. Watts. The mythology behind this young gladiator, Creek of Cupre, the one known as the Killer Whale, the Eskimo Master, or the Giant Slayer, among many other names, is that he was the sole heir to a Viking throne. It is said that he lost his parents and most of his clan in a shipwreck, which he is the only known survivor of. He was a great swimmer at the age of three when he found himself in the cold ocean fighting to survive against unsurmountable odds miles out at sea. It is surmised by the Eskimo tribe near Greenland who saved him that a pod of orca had just lost its youngest male when they swam upon this young child swimming miles off the coast. The mother orca took this human child in her mouth to keep him warm. He was spotted by Eskimo fishermen for the first time in the mouth of this killer whale. The next morning, this golden-haired, naked young boy came crawling up to an igloo of one of the fishermen. They took him in and raised him for close to two years before the Eskimo village was raided by Vikings. And within a year, he was sold to Roman slaveholder and ended up fighting in the Colosseum. Most likely, none of this is true because it just sounds too far-fetched. But a six-year-old boy defeating giants in hand-to-hand -hand combat also sounds far-fetched. But we've seen the proof of it. So who knows, maybe he was raised by killer whales.